Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm another Magento Dev. On this video, or in this video, um, we are going to look at setting up a basic deployment pipeline. Um, I'm going to use Bitbucket, but there are other providers out there. Um, I might do one on Deploy HQ, which has got a better UI, it's, it's, it's nicer, and a few different ways of configuring that. Um, but essentially the principle is always the same. You connect your repository, so Bitbucket, GitHub, in this video I'm going to use Bitbucket, um, up to uh, a deployment service, if you like, like I say, DeployBot's the one we're going to use now. Some hosts, um, a shout out to Corfinity, I use a host called Corfinity, um, Google them, which have um, their own deployment pipeline built into their hosting. Um, the one I'm going to utilise today, I'm just going to utilise some simple hosting. Um, over on Nimbus hosting, um, you might have heard of them. They're, they're really good, they've got a platform, like a UI called Storm, which is really configurable. I like it for testing, I like it for, um, I like it for this type of thing, you know, testing things out, deployments and, and stuff like that. So I've got a dev server over, over there as well. Um, and I'm gonna go through, obviously, we can't really just talk about deployment pipelines and just talk about the deployment service without looking at your repository, what to git ignore, um, and just the general process. It's one of them things that, um, a bit like Magento setups, what you can't have, you can't do enough videos on, you can't do enough tutorials on, really, because as developers, you you rarely do it. You know what I mean? How often do you start a new project every few months or something? And and these things get forgotten about. You know, you forget you forget the little nuances and intricacies of of setting up things like this. So. For me, I'm just going to run through it. You know, I'm not going to cut. I'm not going to edit this video. I might pause it and um, start it again when long processes are running, like deployments and things like that. But I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to edit it. So we'll see how long it is. I, I don't particularly care how long it is. Feel feel free to sort of skip through to the bits you want to see. Um, right. So first, we're going to start with the with the uh, bit bucket or the the repository setup now. What I've got going on here is I have got uh, a repo set up and I've just set up a, a basic repo that matches sort of my new Magento install that I've been um, that I've been messing about with. Sorry, I'm just, this is playing up at the minute. Uh, that I've been messing about with here. This hasn't got a, a Git repo connected to it just yet. Um, but what I want to do is I want, I want to I want to set one up. So I'm just quickly going to switch these over, and I find it easy to. There's loads of different ways you can do it, but when setting up something brand new where you've already installed some, you know, where you've already Magento, you know, installed Magento in there, one of the these are the things I would look out for. I'm going to do it this as I say. There's loads of different ways to do it, and the more senior or more experienced devs among you might be thinking, "What are you doing it like that for? Why are you why are you faffing about?" Well, I'm faffing about to demonstrate something. That's why I'm faffing about. So first thing I'm going to do in this faff is I'm just going to remove what's in vendor because just in case I've, I've overlooked something I, I haven't overlooked something but just in case I have overlooked something um, I'm going to be uh, removing what's in what's what's in vendor um, there right because that's a whole shitload of files that could go to a repository by accident and I just Obviously, I'm not going to send it to the repository, look, because my, my git ignore. But this is this is my point. This is what I want to talk about. The git ignore is crucial to um, Magento deployments and Magento repositories. Um, it's crucial to to all applications, but it really is crucial to um, to Magento because of the the way it builds, um, the way it builds out. So we'll just jump back into Bitbucket. So what I've done is I've created this. And I've created and, it, and, I, and I just selected Bitbucket to give me, or I just asked Bitbucket to give me a basic Git ignore. Which, to be fair, right, I'm just going to edit now. As I say, I know this is overkill, but the, in terms of a process, and there's more succinct ways of doing this. But if I paste this into here and commit it, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to pull this blank repository down into another folder. I'm going to move my files across, and the reason I'm going to do that is because. If you're doing this for the first time, or if you're uncomfortable with it, or you know you just you, you know you just want to play an error on the side of caution, right? This is this isn't a bad idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename this folder here. So I'm just going to move this to one side for a second. I'm going to rename this folder. Um, and 
I'm going to create a new one because I've called the repository the same thing. Look, M24, and then I'm just going to drag and drop my files into it, and I'm going to, sh and then we can see what hits the repo. You know how it how it how it sort of reacts to to that process. Um, so I'm just going to call this old just for now. Right, and now I'm going to pull down. Um, I'm going to pull down my Bitbucket repo and it's dead simple in it. You just go to your repo and it'll pull down that uh, gig no, that I've just that I've just put in there. Um, I'm going to clone it and I'm going to just copy that and I'm just going to um, do this in the sites folder and it's going to pull down a folder called M24 which as I said I already had but um, one's got files in it and one in one ain't got files in it. So this is the one uh, that I did have. Um, so now if I just go to my file system. And this is what I, you know, if I'm showing someone how to do this, like I'm you, you know, if I'm showing a real person how to do this, I would always show them this way because you, what you're gonna be able to do is you are gonna feel your own way through doing this and work out your own. Um, so I'm gonna grab the ones, the full file system from old, and I'm gonna paste it into the new M24 what has just been downloaded. Now, actually, this is why I do it right, so we can highlight something here. If I copy this, you might have seen I copied, hang on, I copied the gig, no. That's gonna be a problem. I don't, I don't wanna do that, because I've already just downloaded it. I want the one I've just put in Bitbucket. So I'm gonna copy everything but the gig, no. And I'm gonna throw it into, um, throw it into this folder again. Go. Give that a second. It's just going to take a second. So yeah, I would show them to do it like this because I think it's just more uh, contextual. You can feel your way through these processes and moving files around. You know, you can make mistakes. You really can make mistakes. Um, another folder to make that process a little bit quicker, like eighty-five thousand files. What I could have done actually um, is I'm just going to restart my. Um, just going to restart my VS Code. There we go. Right then. So now I should have, if I open terminal, there we go. I've got my master branch. It's now picking up because obviously if you rewind the video and have a look at first, I didn't sort of point out, but it was just M2. There was no Git. There was no Git installed. And you can see, look, I've got my greens and I've got 8K files here that want to be um, uploaded. Now we've got a problem here. It's picking up. Pub static. Why is it doing that? Shouldn't be picking up pub static. Is it picking up pub static though? Or is that my VS code being slow? So all it should be picking up is yeah. It doesn't look to me as if it's picking up pub static in real life. A second to catch up. Static. Oh, yeah. Obviously, sorry. Yeah, I remember there was a schoolboy there. The itchy access within pub static, and then my themes. Obviously, we're going to build them. So these things don't need to go to the repo, right? You could go a little bit further. Like there's some stuff in the media here that it's going to send by default, and some stuff it isn't. Now you can configure that to your liking. Um, yeah, when I'm developing a site, I often create a folder in here just called web. Um, and the reason I do that is because there's certain things that you might be building in a site, like for example, logos or uh, certain banners or stock banners and things like that, that you wanna pass between yourselves as developers when working locally. And you want to save in the media so you can utilize them when you're using the admin of Magento, but you might not, you know, you don't necessarily want them to, you, you want to pass them about, you don't want them to, to have to, you don't want your developers to have to upload images in the media. It's better to, you know, it's nice to pass them around. And you don't want them necessarily just in your, in your themes images folder. Um, you know, it's something that you might want the client to be able to access to replace or add new ones as well. So it's like a shared 
folder that's there for development and I often create that one. Um, so, right, we've got a master branch, but obviously we could we could have other uh, branches, but we're just gonna commit this and just to do it through, uh, do it through UI so you can see it. So we'll just call this initial commit. And we'll commit that. Right, and I want to show you how this lands in Bitbucket. It's committing a lot of files, obviously, and we'll just we can watch this and just make sure we haven't dropped any bollocks in the in the git ignore. But we'll and we'll just push up to master branch. Now this isn't doing any deploys yet, obviously, because we're not connected it at the other end. Um, so let's have a look. How that should have gone up to Bitbucket. Give this a refresh. Great. Right, I like this. So the key things to check are vendor should be empty. Var should be empty. Because these are all folders that Magento utilizes in build and in production, right? Um, static should be empty. So these are all sort of telltale signs that I've done the right thing with my git ignore. Um, obviously, if I'd have uploaded that with the default Bitbucket git ignore, I'd have been screwed. I'd have ended up with a repository full of static files, vendor, and all sorts of shit that you just don't want in there. There's arguments to say you don't need um, some of these. Dev generator should also be empty because that's like that's done. DI compile and static content generates content in that, and and certain things in lib, uh, which I am get ignoring. But the reason I leave them in there is because when user utilizing some deployment software uh, like <coughs> like um, like what I'm using there, DeployBot. You can also tell your deployment system not to deploy certain folders. So you might need them for local development. Say for example, you try and upgrade a Magento without the lib folder, or you know because you don't necessarily um, do anything in that whilst you're developing a theme or writing a module. You know you shouldn't really be. The lib folders contains things like you know your jQuery version and 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 shit like that. So. You, do, you you should be working in there. It's, it is classed as a core file folder, right? But you want it in your repo because you want to share that install because you want your developer to be able to run Composer, run the big four, and build out your Magento. But when interacting with your server, you don't want to be asyncing that every time. Um, you want you really only ever really need to be asyncing anything you know stuff in the app folder. But um, and I'll, I can go on to that in a bit. So that's that's the bit book itself that's like one part of it the first part of it if you like um and what i'm going to do is i'm I am, i'm going to pause the video there while i get set up for being able to explain the uh, next part which is sort of um the bit bucket uh, sorry the um the deployment setup so right i'm gonna i'm gonna stop this here i'm gonna do these in separate videos so yeah, this will be obviously with regards to setting up Bitbucket ready for a deploy. Next video should be here somewhere. Um, will be for deployments actually through the uh, software. And in this case, it'll be DeployBot. Um, yeah, but there might be, if this is sometime in the future, also a video somewhere on here for deploying through Deploy HQ. Depends on which one you're interested in. But for now, it'll be DeployBot. All right, but might be the deploy HQ depending on if this is the future. Cheers! If you enjoyed this content, please uh, like and and subscribe. That uh, that would really motivate me to do more of this content. Cheers.